top three things required to build a magazine and pros pros and cons for that the top three things i'll give you the one the top the number one thing content 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 relationships content things to talk about content the second thing is great um photography great high resolution photo dot photography photos or what have you and lastly the willingness to wait um i think that a lot of people get into this they were expecting an immediate return on an investment because you do have a good brand and you're getting a few people saying oh i love what it is that you're doing if you don't have the patience get out of it quickly because it's not going to turn around you have no matter how good the brand you still have a sales cycle and you need to be patient but um which i will in all of that is compassed with one thing deliver value that's the the biggest thing all those three things equal uh, delivering the maximum value that you can and um always look to our 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 um our company's motto and core value the thing that i drive home to every team member when they come on every partner every sponsor everyone that comes on is we live by code to always deliver value before ever asking for value in return if we're not putting out a product that delivers top-notch value we can never ask for anything in return and when one of the things that we've seen in the competition one of the things we've seen in other magazines we don't consider competition actually we got rid of that 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 thought because there's always a way for us to collaborate so if there's a magazine that's out there, we don't call them competition. Hey, how can we help you? Do you need content? Do you need, we have these relationships built. Obviously we, we want to get as much uh, income from it as possible, but the name of it is to deliver as much value as possible before ever asking for any value in return. Because in that value, you can take that value anywhere in the world and that value will always have a currency attachment to it. But you can, you can only take your money but so far. You know, I, I when I was teaching a class, I did. I just recently did a class at a, a place called Wisdom Window, and I gave an analogy. And that analogy is um, the difference between if you had ten thousand dollars cash or ten thousand dollars in gold. I asked the question of people: Which one would you rather have? Most people will automatically, because we live in a currency-driven society, automatically look at that currency as something that they can invest. They look at that currency as something that they can spend and as something that they can ca they, they, they can capture immediately. Then I asked another question. So according to the U.S. dollar, if we took that dollar to the eurozone, are you going to get the same amount of money for that same dollar in the eurozone? No, you're not. Mm. You're not going to be able to get the value. But if you take that same value and you take that piece of gold anywhere in the world, you're going to get the top value for that gold, the top currency amount for that for that gold anywhere in the world. And we, we want to do is if you're going to start a publication now. Because there's so many people doing online magazines, there's so many people doing blogging, there's so many people doing all these different things. You have to find a way to deliver as much value as humanly possible without breaking yourself, without putting yourself, bankrupting yourself. But deliver as much value by way of content, by way of high quality um, photos, and just creating those worthwhile relationships. Those things just deliver as much value as humanly possible.